my lonely days are over. Come in. Charlotte. Tim. Charlotte, since it's your last night, I, I wondered if perhaps I could ask you a question. Yes, ask away. Right, well... <sighs> Wait. It's not going to be about love, is it? It's just that Kit Kat warned me that if you were to ever mention it, that I'd be extremely firm with you and tell you that you must treat me like your sister and not be stupid. Or have I just made a total and utter fool of myself and you were actually just going to ask me for some last minute late night tennis tips? No, it was the, it was, it was the love thing, um, unfortunately. So. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you. It's just a shame you've left it till the last night. You should have tried creeping along the corridors while we still had time. Oh, right. So, just the last night was a bad idea? Very bad idea. Feels like an ever so slightly insulting afterthought. Oh, of course. Um, all right. Perfect. I've, I've got it. Thank you. Come in. Hi, Charlotte. Ch t Tim. Charlotte, I know this might seem absolutely ridiculous, but ever since I've met you this morning, I've fallen completely and madly in love with you. And, well, I, I'd imagine this was all that's going to happen. I mean, <laughs> your hair and <laughs> face. And, but e e even if you didn't have a nice face, or e even if you had well, absolutely no hair at all because of... I don't know, some bizarre medical reason or something like that. I, I'd still absolutely adore you. And, well, what I was wondering is, perhaps you might share my feelings. Wow. I tell you what, why don't we wait and see how the summer goes and you ask me again on my last night? See what happens then, shall we? It's exciting. Your last night? Last night. Of course. Right, no, of course. That's, a, that's, a, that's an absolutely perfect plan. Your last night? Last night. Last night. My last night. <laughs> All right then. Good night, Charlotte. Night, night, Tommy. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll call you back. Wait. Where the fuck do you get off talking to people about me behind my back, going over my head? What, did you think I just wasn't gonna find out? What are you talking about, Nick? You said I'm bringing down heat on you. You're trying to order me out? I'm not trying to order you or any... I just told Andy Stone that you had a lot of heat on you and that that was a problem. You want me to get out of my own fucking town? Just wait till the bullshit blows over for a while, so I can run the casino. That way, if anything goes wrong with the casino, it's my ass. I don't know whether you know this or not, but the only reason you have your fucking casino is because I made that shit possible for you. I am what counts out here. Now your fucking country club and not your fucking television shows. And what the fuck are you doing on TV anyhow? That way I have a forum. I can fight back. People know me. They know they can't fuck with me like if I was an unknown. You're making a big fucking spectacle of yourself. Me? I'm only in this situation because of you. You brought down so much fucking heat on me. So now you want to blame your fucking license on me, is no. that it? When you asked me if you could come out here, what did I tell you? I mean, you asked me, and I knew you'd do whatever you wanted, no matter what I said, but what did I tell you? Back up one fucking minute here. I asked you. When the fuck did I ever ask you to come out here? You only exist out here because of me. Without me, you personally, every wise guy scaling around will take a piece of your Jew ass, and then where are you gonna go? Don't ever go over my head again. You've been fucking warned. <laughs>
Oh my God, she's fucking gorgeous. Of course. How old is she now? <laughs> Two and a half. There's nothing like it, is there? You know, Juliet still lets me sleep in her bed, but she's gonna kick me out any day now. I missed you. I missed you too. Where'd you go, baby? Why don't you call me? I just need to make money right now. No, don't, don't do that. It's me. It's me. Hey. Remember what we were like back then? We were like fucking hurricanes. Weren't we? I just want to be like independent. Not dependent on anyone. Just me and Lily. That's it. What is that? It's ketamine and MDMA. The cat wipes their memory, the MDMA makes them happy. How many times have you done it? Three times, including last night. We made five fucking grand. Split three ways. Could make it four, be like old times. Baby, we gotta start thinking like these Wall Street guys. You see what they did to this country. Hardworking people lost everything and not one of those douchebags went to jail for it, not one. You ever think about when they come into the club? That's stolen fucking money. That's what's paying for their blowjobs. The fucking firefighters retirement fund. Fuck these guys. What are you gonna do? Go back to minimum wage? We can't dance forever. This game is rigged. You either stand in the corner or you get in the ring. So, are you in? She kept saying, it wasn't you, it wasn't you, it wasn't you. Your mom loves you, Matt. That boy? Daniel? Yes. What? I killed him. And Hope? No. Did you rape her? Yeah. And do you take responsibility for both of their deaths? Yes. When the lights went down last night, I kneeled down and prayed for them kids. I've never done that before. You did a terrible thing, Matt. A terrible thing. But you have a dignity now that nobody can take away from you. You are a son of God, Matthew Ross. <laughs> no one ever called me a son of God before. They called me a son of you know what many times. I just hope that my death can give them family some sort of relief. I think the best thing that you can wish for the Millers and the Walkers is a wish for peace. You know, I never really loved myself. I never love the woman or anybody else. Well, I figures that I'd have to die in order to find love. Thank you for loving me. <laughs> so what do you do, Raymond? I, I shoot people for money. <laughs> Is there a lot of money in that line of business? There is in, in priests, not so much in children. What is it you do, Chloe? I sell cocaine and heroin to Belgian film crews. Do you? 
Do I look like I do? You do, actually. Do I look like I shoot people? Just children. I saw your midget the other day. He didn't even say hello, little shit. Yeah, well, he was on a lot of ketamine. What's that? It's a horse tranquilizer. Where'd he get that? I sold it to him. You can't sell horse tranquilizer to a midget. You know, this movie they're making, I think it's going to be very good. They don't normally shoot classic movies in Belgium. No, of course they haven't. It's a shithole. It's not a shithole. Yeah, it is. Midgets have to take drugs just to stick it. Okay, so you've insulted my hometown. Why don't you make some Belgian jokes while you're at it? I don't know any Belgian jokes, and if I did, I would hope I would have the common decency. And Belgians where those child abuse cases happened lately, yeah? I do know one Belgian joke. Belgium's famous for two things, child abuse and chocolates, and they only invented chocolates to get to kids. One of the girls they murdered was a friend of mine. I'm sorry, Chloe. One of the girls they murdered wasn't a friend of mine. I just wanted to make you feel bad. This is the first time I've set foot in Madrid since. As you say in your piece, Madrid had become a difficult bullring for me. A minefield. It's a pity you lived here. Yeah, well, I needed Madrid. I needed you too, but just not under those conditions. Love is not enough to save the person you love. You say it in your monologue. Let's not talk about the monologue. It's a, a very sad text. Felt much better when you said that while you're looking after me. You continue to develop as writer and filmmaker. Did you really feel like that? Yeah, I, you didn't interrupt anything, Federico. On the contrary, you filled my life like nothing and no one has done until now. So, <clears throat> you haven't been back to Madrid since? No. But I followed everything you did. You're the only director my family knows. Your new family? Yes. Do they know anything else? You mean about us? Yes. My wife? Well, ex-wife. We're separating. I told her, she does not know it's you. But she knows I was with a man in Madrid for three years. Do you have a partner now? Yes, I do. And you? No. A man or a woman? My experience with men ended with you. I don't know how to take that. <laughs> take it as a compliment. Okay, crash course. So, what I've got here is called a route planner. And it's going to help find your route from here back to your front door. So, what's your address? Dara, I've driven here twice already. Maddie, please, your address? 17 Lime Tree Avenue. Okay, quite a few options here. So, is that Clontarf, yeah. Burr, Dingle, Bangor, or Bantry? Clontarf. Okay, I thought it would be. Right. Uh, 
Look at that. There it is. And print. Sometimes I put it in a place down to try and trick it. It never works. The internet, incredible, isn't it? It is. It is, Maddie. Well, it is, provided that you remember the one golden rule. Now, I'll tell you what, it took me a while to get my head around it, but uh, that is that you have to start everything, everything, with W, 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 dot. Now, best thing to do is think of something to help remind you of that. So I think of whiskey with water, which was my brother, God rest his soul, my brother's favorite drink. But you, you could do anything. You, you could do, um, you could do three W's. Wild water wings. What about World Wide Web? World Wide Web. Yeah, yeah. I like that, like a spider. Mm. That's brilliant, on your first try. What is it you do again? I work in computers. What? You slimy cunt. I just had a quick little hit, it was nothing. Where? In the park, when I met Ange. Did he do some too? Of course not. We left as soon as we made the deal. Only because he's decent enough to go home to his girlfriend. Like you should. <laughs> he sold me the dope. Why do you want me to have a hit in a public toilet? I don't know. Why the fuck would you? Mm. I'll admit it was dumb, okay? I'm sorry. I'm getting so sick of this. What is your problem? You. You are my problem. You're a complete waste of space. Are you on your fucking period or something? No, Dan. I hardly get my period anymore. Because my body's so fucked up. I just don't understand what your problem is tonight. I mean, like... Do you know what I do all day? I fuck men I hate. Look. No more brothels for you. Okay? No more escorting. I'm gonna take the time and start a new life. You don't understand, do you? That's really it this time. We're gonna go away and start fresh. <laughs> do you even hear yourself? This is a fucking nightmare that you've led me into! Like I have a gun to your head. Fuck you! Christ. Why are you awake? It's 9.45. Oh, I thought you were just in my head. You were just in my head and then you're there. Are you okay, sister? Fuck you call me sister like it doesn't turn you on just to say it. Do you want a drink? Okay. Why are you here? 
I was on the verge of having a little prayer, actually. What were you praying about? I hope you're praying for me. I could use the extra set of hands. Jesus. Here's to peace and those that get in the way of it. You know this was the first one I ever got. I went all the way to Rome for that. Such a nerd. <laughs> you know, sometimes I worry I'm only in it for the Jesus bling. Catching feelings is a no, let me tell you how it goes. Herbs the word, spins the verb, love as it comes, so freak what you heard. I like the way you're working. No diggity. What were you praying about? <laughs> you don't like answering questions, do you? Okay. Come with me. What? You know, we were partying pretty hard. Beer. Somebody was passed around a joint. Somebody else did some cocaine. Cocaine? Yeah. Okay, go on. Anyway, so after a while everybody leaves and I go inside. But it's really cold inside so I go check on the girls and it's fucking freezing in their bedroom. But well, my wife doesn't like the central heat because it dries out her sinus and she gets these headaches. So I went downstairs and built a fire in the fireplace. And I put a couple of big logs in the fire so the house would warm up while I was gone. Gone. I just popped out to the shop. I was all out of beer, so. And I'm halfway there and uh, I realize I forgot to put the screen back in the fireplace. But I, I figured it was probably okay and kept going to the store. I guess one of the logs must have rolled out onto the floor when I was gone. That's all for now, Lee. I'll let you know if anything comes up. What do you mean, that's it? You made a horrible mistake, like a million other people did that night. It's not a crime to leave the screen off fireplace. So I can go? Unless something comes up that we don't already know about, then yes. Do you have a lift home? I found it. Found what? What I want to do right now. Like what is really, really inside me. I made something I stream. This is it. What is it? To play, you dope. I know that. What's it got to do with you? Well, the Drama Society are putting it on as a play and they're having open auditions. So? So I'm going to act. I'm going to be an actor. I've literally wanted to do this for as long as I can remember. Last year, I even tried to audition for the Abbey. But of course, my dad didn't let me. And he'll let you know? No, no, God, no. But, like, that's not the point. 
The point is, for the first time in my whole life, I know what I want to do. And for the first time, I'm actually going to do it. Whether my family wants me to or not, carpe diem. So, how are you going to be in the play if your dad won't let you? Well, first I have to get the part and then I can worry about that. And won't he kill you if you don't tell him you're auditioning? Mm, no. Uh, no, as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't have to know about any of this. Come on. That's impossible. Bullshit. Nothing is impossible. Why don't you just ask him? <laughs> Maybe he'll say yes. That's a laugh, though. If I don't ask them, at least I won't be disobeying them. But he said no before, so... Jesus Christ, sorry, but whose side are you on? I haven't even gotten this part yet. Can I not enjoy the idea even for a little while? <laughs> I am nervous. What? I told you I'd tell you when I was nervous. I'm shitting myself. Do you know what I was thinking about up there today, Rachel? I wasn't thinking about how well I was doing or how much I wanted to win. I was thinking about how, even though you were trying to hide it yesterday, I could tell that you were sad. And I knew how to fix it. You can't fix it. Yes, I can. Look, um, up until a few weeks ago, I was on some pretty serious medication. So what I'm saying is that I'm sad too, Rachel. You know, but the pills that I take to make me not sad make me feel nothing. So those are my options, you know, sad or numb. So I stopped taking them and yeah, I thought I was gonna go crazy or I thought I was gonna go insane or something, but I didn't. You know, I am and I feel amazing. I feel like, I, you know. Do you need me to call someone? What? Do you need me to call someone? Because you don't... That's why you don't want to be with me, isn't it? You, because you don't realise that you're fucked up too. Hey. You think that because you have a job, or an apartment, that you're fine. I think we both know that you're not fine, Rachel. So yeah, go ahead, call someone. You know, under normal circumstances, I would walk away right now. Circumstances. Yes. But I am your teacher. So I have to stay with you. But I also have to tell someone what's going on. What is going on? I don't know. But all I know is I can't walk away right now. And I will. There's a place where lovers go Cry the troubles away And they call it lonesome town Where the broken Can you see me? Yeah. Do you recognize me? <laughs> oh, Travis. I brought Hunter with me. Don't you want to see him? Of course I want to see him. I wanted to see him so badly. I didn't even dare imagine him anymore. Anne kept sending me pictures until I asked her to stop. I couldn't stand the pain of watching him grow up knowing I was missing it. Why didn't you keep him with you, Jane? I couldn't. I couldn't give him what I knew he needed. I didn't want to use him to fill all my emptiness. Well, he's here now. He wants to see you. He does. He's, uh, he's waiting. Where? In town. Melbourne Hotel, room 121. You're not going, are you? 
I can't see you, Jane. Oh, don't go. Please, just don't go. I... I used to make up these big, long speeches to you after you left. I used to talk to you all the time, even though I was alone. I'd walk around for months just talking to you. Now I don't know what to say. It was easier when I imagined you. You and I would have these great conversations, just the two of us. It was almost like you were there. And then you slowly faded. And I'd let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. And I'd let that lonesome. What are you doing here? I have good news. <laughs> okay. Louise Kiley, the casting director. Yeah, I'm aware of who she is. What? She was at your play. And she loved it. She loved it so much that she wants you to come into her and audition for a big movie she's got. I'm not. I'm not going to that. Excuse me. I'm not going. That'll kill me. I'm not going to that. Are you serious? So you're happy here. I'm happier. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Why won't you just come? I just told you. I don't buy it. I've been to hundreds of auditions. They're all the same. I, you don't know what happens. I, either I get interrupted because somebody ordered a sandwich or I start crying and they start laughing or, or else I'm just sitting in the waiting room with the rest of the hundred other lookalikes who, who, who just never had a chance because... Because what? Because I'm probably not good enough. <laughs> I... Yes, you are. I'm done. It's finished, it's over. I I don't want to do it anymore. Why? <laughs> Why what? Why don't you want to do it anymore? Uh, because it just hurts a little bit too much now. And this happened in February. Yeah. So, basically, you have been assaulted twice. Once by your attacker and again by the police. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Marie. It's not your fault. One thing before you go. Um, of course, understanding that absolutely none of this was your fault. I just hope that you can take something of value from this. I wonder how you might be able to manage this kind of injustice if it ever were to happen again. Uh, okay. Uh, no, I know I'm supposed to say that if I had the chance to do it again, I wouldn't lie. But the truth is I'd lie earlier and better and I just figure it out on my own, by myself. Because no matter how much someone says they care about you, they don't, not enough, like. And maybe they mean to, and maybe they try to, but other things just end up being more important. So, yeah, I'd probably start there with the lying. Because even with really good people, even with people who you can kind of trust, uh, if the truth is inconvenient or if it doesn't like fit, they don't believe it. 
And even if they really, really care about you, they just don't. Still have a few more questions I need to ask you. I have some for you too. For my book. How does it feel to kill someone? You tell me. I don't know. But you do. It was an accident. They got in the line of fire. Four shootings in five years. All accidents. Those were drug busts. I was working undercover. Why don't you tell me about Professor Goldstein? Or how about Hazel Dopkins? Goldstein was my counsellor my freshman year. It's probably where I got the idea for the ice pick for my book. It's funny how the subconscious works. Hazel's my friend. You know, your friend took out her entire family. Yes. She told me about homicidal impulses. But you know all about impulses. Don't you, Shooter? What happened? Did you get sucked in? Did you like it too much? I don't know what you're talking about. The day you shot the two tourists. How much coke did you do, huh? I didn't. Yes, you did. They never test you, though, did they? Internal affairs knew. Your wife knew, too. Didn't she? Yeah. She knew what was going on. I think you got too close to the flame. I think you liked it. That's why she killed herself. You're gonna make a terrific character, Nick. Can I get you a drink, miss? Wine. Red. Terrible observation skills. You're no miss. Actually, I'm separated. Sorry to hear that. It's the way things be like in a marriage these days. You go round and round like an old record player. Till finally gets so scratched and you can't listen to the fucker. <laughs> you can take all the fucking cars off the roads, that's what I'd say. All the fucking lorries and all the fucking jeeps and build fires to things and torch them. The world would slow again to a human pace. We could saunter and stroll. Mind you, I was glad to the car under me when I was trying to get away from Rhino Flynn. Rhino? The husband. Oh, so you're only recently separated then? Since four o'clock this morning. You'd hear him before you'd see him. Big lunk of a fella. Big shithead on him. But like a fucking child at the end of the day. Bastards. <laughs> Married it all yourself? Thought as much complications. Top up. After straining me neck from going down all those back roads. But I had to get away from the bastard. The poison got into him and he wouldn't let me out of his sight. Next thing I know I'm tied up in the guard reflex. This is what Flex does to you. Who the fuck are you talking to, he says to me? Who the fuck are you talking to, he says to me? I've seen you talking to me, he says to me. Who the fuck are you talking to, he says to me? What? 
but I should have expected it. Do you like people? Some people. Some? Yeah, I mean, does, does anyone like everybody really, you know? Yes. Oh yeah, then I like everybody. Hmm. And when are you available to start? Now. Now. Okay, um, yeah, there's like a whole process, so I'm speaking to some other people. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me, me too, totally. Oh, you have other interviews? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, well, there's no mobile number for you here. Oh yeah, it's um, 87 Seven zero zero three four five four nine. Yeah, sorry. Um, can... Oh eight seven seven zero zero eight five three four five nine. Um, can. Oh eight seven seven zero zero four two five four nine. Are you okay? Yes. But this isn't really going well. Really? No, it's quite a weird atmosphere. Really. Mira Matteson. Miranda, are you Miranda Madison? The Miranda Madison? Yeah, I am. Oh sh! Fucking Christ! Um, I, I once uh, uh, ran over a badger on my way to the airport. Um. Miranda, I... No, you're right. You're right. I have nothing to offer. I have nothing to offer. My parents, my boyfriend left me. The whole town hates me. But I am an exceptional worker and I can scrub a toilet until it shines like the sun. Are you available to start now? Really? Yeah. Everyone deserves a second chance. Even murderers. It wasn't like that. What was it like? It was a long time ago. And I'm ready to move on. Perhaps you can tell me what you think you're doing. What I'm doing? I went to look for you and I couldn't find you. I didn't wish to disturb you. You disturbed me when you disappeared. I didn't disappear. I went for a walk. A walk? Is that all? Virginia, we must go home now. You have an obligation- I have endured this custody. I have endured this imprisonment. I am attended to by doctors who inform me of my own interests. They know your interests. They do not. They do not speak for my interests. I can see that I must be hired for a woman of your... Of my what? Your talents. To see that she may not be the best judge of her own condition. Then who is a better judge? You have a history. We put you here because you have a history of fits and moods, blackouts, hearing voices. It was done for you out of love. If I didn't know you better, I'd call this ungrateful. Ungrateful? I am ungrateful. My life was stolen from me. I am living in a town I have no wish to live in. I am living a life I have no wish to live. This is not you speaking. It's your illness. This is me. This is my voice. It's not your voice. It is mine and mine alone. Listen, I, I just want to talk to you about tomorrow. I'm going to be testifying for BB. And it's possible that some things might come up in court. You mean like we're millionaires or something? What? Yeah. 
Tripp said that Elena thinks you have this secret stash of money set aside and you're using it to pay for Bibi's legal fees. I am paying for Bibi's legal fees. I recently sold a photo for a large sum of money. Half a million euros. Not quite. It was given to me by a friend to use if I ever needed the money. I always needed the money. Just let me explain, right? No, I... No. We slept on floors. Because you made it seem like we had to live that way. Like we had to live this way, but... What? Well, it wasn't fancy enough for you. <laughs> Did you think I'd be one of those spoiled brats if I had my own room? No. If I had my own bed? No. But we always had enough. What? <laughs> what have we had? You can just stop now. Stop with the fucking walls and the pipes and the floors. You haven't been honest with me. And I had to hear from Trip that you sold something that was supposed to be for me and you for her. It is for you. There's a fund set aside for you too. Just get out. No, Pearl! Will you just let me explain this? No, get out, okay? Because I can't I'm not fucking... fucking look at you right now. No, just listen to me a second. I have someone to tell you. Get the fuck out. What is this? Stew. Potatoes. It's hearty. Somebody needs to punch you in the face, man. You are making us brain dead with your potatoes, you depressing old woman! Perry Como eats his stew! Is that the kind of music you'd like us to make, John? No, Clara. I think you should go home. You know what? Fuck you, Clara. Okay? Frank picked me to join the Nobody band. Frank picked, picked me to join the band. He said I was cherishable. John? Nobody picked you, John. Don couldn't find anybody else, so we were stuck with you. You are fingers being told which keys to press. I press my own keys, okay? And I am perfectly capable of going to my furthest corners and composing music. You know that hideous song you sang us about Don's suicide attempt? Yeah. It was Paranoid Android by Radiohead. The rain down, rain down, come on rain. You sang. Let me do it, let me drown myself. Exactly the fucking same. It doesn't sound the same to me. Do you, you want to know where your furthest corners are, John? They are here. Do you want to know where mine are? You're wrong. You, you have only made me more determined than ever to go to my furthest Clara. fucking corners. Lick my ass. So why do you think your father suggested you come in for counseling? My mother died and he doesn't know how to talk about it. And my sister and I haven't spoken for a year because she thinks I tried to sleep with her husband. And I've been using sex for most of my adult life to try to run away from this gaping hole inside my heart. But I don't do that anymore. Do you have many friends? No, I don't have time for that. Tell me about the sex. Nothing good ever came from sex. What have you found from that? The impulse is still there. That the impulse is very much still there, it's just, it's just not the right person. So there is someone you would um, like to have sex with. <laughs> He's just not available. Is he in a relationship? 
Are you in love with him? <laughs> no, actually. No. Why is that funny? I'm just not really the... That's just not really me. So you're just a girl with no friends and an empty heart, according to your own description. I didn't come here to be analyzed. I actually came here to exchange the voucher for money, so... I want to fuck a priest. Badly. You can tell me to mind my own business if you want. It's none of your fucking business. Okay, well, you know where I am if you want to talk. Yeah, do me a favour. Save that care of the community bullshit for someone else. Bruce, I'm just worried about you. Are you worried about me? <laughs> Don't fancy yourself. I have absolutely no interest in you other than having to work with you. I'll give in to your impulses, darling. You're pathetic, you know that. You're one of these sad cases that preys on weak, stupid women to boost your own shattered ego. What about Karen at the Christmas party? She was hammered. She shouldn't have gotten drunk then, should she? But she wanted a ride, so I gave her one later on. So don't treat me like some fucking rapist. Jesus Christ, why'd you even give a shit? What are you, jealous? I have a boyfriend, and he is more intelligent than you. I'm better endowed than you as well, Mr. What did you just say to me? What? You gonna hit me, Bruce? Are you? Are you gonna hit me? No. No, I wasn't going. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I used to be good at this. I used to be a good person. Yeah. There's something wrong with me. Something seriously, seriously wrong with me. Have you talked to anyone about it? Have you been to a doctor or...? No. I don't know. I don't know who's in charge. I'm 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 in charge of me. And I'm in charge of this entire investigation. Don't you fucking forget that, love. I don't think you're fit for work at the moment. Why don't you go upstairs and play amateur psychologist with someone else, you evil fucking witch? <laughs> Good morning, CP Head. I hope you don't mind, I crashed on the couch. Where's Heather? She slipped out this morning. <laughs> what a night. That was just what I needed. You look like a new man. I feel like a new man. I was getting so used to being rejected, but I really liked her. Hey. It's my treat. Yeah. What do you mean your treat? You know, the woman. You mean Heather is a prostitute? Of course she's a prostitute. You think a woman like that would hang out with you all night if you were in pain? I cannot believe this. Look, I can assure you she's clean. I tried her out last week just to make sure she's top quality. And I'm as healthy as a horse, so she's the best. Ask any of my friends. Please, tell me she's one of your friends. I wish I had friends like that. Get out. Don't be ashamed of yourself. I know she's a working woman, 
But I think she liked you. You might get a freebie next time. How? No! Cinnamon fizz. Don't you just love the sound of that? I suddenly have the urge to drink this. Oh, that could be hormonal. Yeah, you might need iron or something. Do you take supplements? Um. What are you gonna call it? Junebug. I mean, its real name will be Johnny. And if it's a little girl, Junebug Johnston. Can't you just picture a baby June bug? Oh, so you don't know what you're having? A baby. <laughs> no, no, I mean a boy or a girl. I don't care, as long as it's healthy and it looks like Johnny. And what does he want? I don't think he wants a baby right now, but I know when he sees it, he's gonna love it. It's just a phase. I read in one of my books that that can happen. And how long has he felt like that? Two years, but when he sees it, he's gonna love it. It's just... I think... Yeah. What do you think? I don't know him. So many things planned to say. Um, sorry, I'm just picturing you. Got you all flustered? No, you actually got me pissed off. How many times do you think that you can come around and fuck up Piper's life? You need to end it now and stay away from her. Not a problem. She's all yours, champ. Can I go now? Hold on. Uh, suddenly she's all mine. After. You've been working her over ever since she got here. Working her over? She came to me. She dragged me into that chapel. And she fucked me. Hard. <laughs> Hard. She never used to be the aggressor. I guess it was a new color she was trying on, or maybe she was just bored, uh, who knows. You fucked in a chapel? Yes. 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 Uh, it's prison. There aren't a whole lot of options. But I'm done. I can't take another spin on her merry-go-round and uh, clearly you're still into it, so enjoy the ride. Go fuck yourself. We're getting married. Great. So, why are you here? I wanted to meet you. My heart is with you. She's all. She's read everything. We don't know what she's like in bed. Eh? But she is fucked up. I know it, and you do too, or else you wouldn't be here warning me to stay away. Not your problem. Are you ready to go? Yeah, just give me a second, okay? Hannah. Hannah should have lived. What? She should have lived. He just left her there. 
just lying on the streets, he didn't care. And now that son of a bitch is just out there walking the streets. And I can't even go into her room. I'm going to kill him. What are you doing? I'm going to kill Jack Jordan. Slow down. Just slow down. Slow down. Slow down while I what? Slow down. Just take it easy. Take it easy. My husband and my little girl are dead. And you're asking me to take it fucking easy. You owe it to Michael. You're in his house. And you're fucking his wife. And sitting in his chair. We have to kill. No. No, not like this. Then how? Tell me, how? I want to fucking kill him. I want to fucking kill him. Every fucking single night I go to bed without Michael. With fucking you. With you in the bed <laughs> oh. She should be here right now. Your normal life. You such a thing. A thing? Yeah, but going like eight levels too hard. Don't do that. Don't guess what you think I'm thinking and then say it like it's coming from you. You don't think I have my own doubts, Annie? You're so caught up in your own narcissism. I'm sorry, my narcissism? What point are you trying to make with those armpit pictures? That I'm fucking stupid for wanting to remember a nice trip. It's because I'm sad. I can't speak to you when you're this emotional. You're acting like mom. I have my things too. I just don't go around broadcasting them to the whole world. Oh, is that what I do? Every single fucking minute of every day of your life is broadcasting how normal you are. You're so desperate to have someone tell you you're okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to talk to you. You don't have to shut down just when I'm saying something real. I'm not shutting down. Can I say one last thing to you? Yeah, something real. Every time I think about New York without you in it, I'm fucking delighted. Because now I don't have to see you or fucking call you or do anything with you. We can finally grow apart and not fucking pretend that we didn't. Yeah, maybe I can get a family my own now. With the money now. Maybe someone will marry me if I'm rich. You don't need money for that. <laughs> what about, um, Carrie Richards? Now she liked you even though you was a broke dick. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a whole different deal. Her friends all pitched in a hundred bucks, all together. Betted her she wouldn't go steady with me for a month. Jesus, Jacob. I thought y'all had a thing. Well, it wasn't all that bad. I mean, actually, it was kind of cool. We used to walk around a lot, you know? Take walks. Held her hand one time, we were walking around. My hand sweated so much, she kind of had to let it go. I was nervous, I guess. When the month was over, she'd kind of say hi to me in the hallways when I'd see her. 
She didn't have to do that. That was cool of her. God, Chrissy, I've never even kissed a girl before. If being rich will change that, I'm all for it. I don't care. I just want to feel it, you know? I just want to know how people do. I don't care if it's because of the money. Hey, Chrissy, I'm gonna be happy now, right? Sure you are. <laughs> we all are. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we all are. Hey, I'm gonna have a lot of kids one day. Yeah, because I'll meet a really nice girl. She'll be really cool, really nice to me. Just a normal, normal woman, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Can I sit here? I sit down this seat. Snap. Sorry? How'd you get yours? Who hit you? Snap. Snap, black guy. Who hit you? A tree. A tree. A tree hit you, did it? I ran into it, yeah. Oh, you ran into it, did you? How'd you do that? I'd say that was sore. It was dark. It was at night. Oh, I see. Easily done. So how is the tree? Is it okay? I love trees. I think the tree's okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'd say you're a thick footer. What? I'd say you're a thick footer. Like a thick footer. What, a thick fella? A thick footer, you, you look very tall. Oh. <laughs> a thick footer. Yes, a thick footer. Do I look it? How tall are you? 6'4". Oh, wow. Wow, that is tall. Mm. How is the weather up there? That's what we used to say to all the tall fellas in school. How is the weather up there? How is the weather up there? How is, how is the weather up there? Hey, do we have much longer to wait? I thought I seriously need to see a man he had a fight with a tree. Tom Evans? That's me. Tom Evans. Hey. Hey, Tom. Tom. God bless. Nice fella, isn't he? Nice fella, isn't he? Nice fella.